Hi, this is Dr. Vivek and welcome to my YouTube channel. Many of the time, the patients who come to me with the problem of the thyroid, it's hypothyroidism, it's Hashimoto disease or autoimmune thyroiditis, any kinds of problem, I always prescribe the herbs that helps in making the liver healthy. Now, why I do so? Why not only the herbs that targets on the thyroid gland? It is because the thyroid is directly related to the liver. Now, why I am saying so? I will explain you a bit. Actually, the thyroid gland secretes the two hormones, that T3 and T4, as we know. The T4 hormone, it is actually an inactive hormone. It is made active or it is converted into T3 by the help of the liver. So it is done in the liver. That's why liver is very important. And you can just imagine if you are having a fatty liver and plus you are having the problems with the thyroid. Will the hormones or the chemicals will help a lot? No, it's not going to happen. Or the doses will be increased with the time. So that's why it's very important to understand how our body works and how this whole system is connected to each other. So if you are having the problems with the thyroid, you have to take care of your liver to have good and healthy hormones in your body. Now, the question is how to have them? Yes, first of all, you have to decrease the carbs. You have to remove the bad fat from your body. You have to live a healthy lifestyle. This is the first thing that we have to do. Second thing what we can do is taking the herbs that helps in maintaining the health of the liver or even in detoxifying the liver. I have a whole video about the detoxification of the liver. I will put the link down below. The herb that helps best in maintaining the health of the liver, the name is Pumi Amla. Yes, it's a typical name. What it is and where to buy, I'll put the link down in the description box. If it's not easily available near to you, surely you can find it through internet. Link will be in the description box. It's not expensive, it's cheap, but it's very effective. How you have to take one teaspoon two times in a day, empty stomach with warm water. This is what you have to do. And plus, if you are having the fatty liver, I will recommend you to follow the Kapha diet. It's an Ayurvedic diet. Ayurveda is a holistic medical science. So this diet, you just type on internet, you will get the whole list of products that you should include and what you have to exclude from your daily diet. So it's not so tough. Just follow it. Use Bhumi Yamla. Plus, have a check on your vitamin D. If you are lacking in vitamin D, then this is also not good for your whole of the body, especially for the endocrine system. So have a look on it. Plus, add selenium also. If you are having any of the autoimmune problem, even without having the analysis done, without any of the tests, just start taking selenium. It is very important. If you are having autoimmune thyroiditis, Hashimoto disease, it's better to include the selenium in your diet plus the herb that I have told you, healthy lifestyle and cleaning your liver. These are the things which will help you in living a healthy and a happy life. So hope this video will help you. Stay happy, stay healthy.